my home planning challenge, which is going to start next this Monday. So if you don't have the planner already, we will pop the link into it in the planner. Y'all, I am excited. So for the first time, I think ever, I am doing a pantry tour. This is, we, y'all know, we moved almost a year ago now, and we have this crazy pantry that is probably the reason I bought this house. Um, I'm gonna show you about it. I'll talk, we'll talk about pantry organization, some things you can use. We'll also put a link to some of our favorite pantry things. If you would hop on, tell me good morning. Who is joining me Monday for the home planning challenge? Do you have your home planners ready? Are you excited about it? I'm super excited. Let me show you a couple things. This is our pantry, and I'll show you at the end how the view from outside, because you really did, it does help to see it from outside. But let me show you a couple things I use. One thing that my friend Lily is amazing, she had this genius idea, and that is to take a bunch of our nuts, mostly nuts, craisins, anything that is just like perishable, but you wanna keep it in a airtight jar, we take them out of that and we put them in mason jars. These are just mason jars with lids. You can get them at Walmart. It's probably my favorite pantry hack of all times because it makes them just, they're great. Anyways, okay, do y'all wanna see a peek through the pantry? Let's start. I'm gonna, it's probably easiest if I turn this video around. Don't forget guys, starting Monday, home planning challenge. This week, y'all know, every week in the home planner, there is a challenge and you're, you have one big project. The project for this week is your pantry. So let me know who is doing their pantry this morning. Good morning, Sabra. I'm so glad you're here. Hi, Marvella. Yay, I know. Polly, this pantry. When we walked into the house, I'm going to show y'all the outside in a second. When we walked into the house, we didn't think there was a pantry because it's got like a hidden door. So I'll show it to you. But anyways, in the planner, when you start each day, you're going to have one organized pantry right there. So it says one big project for the week. So this is my big project. I'm gonna turn y'all around so you can see this. Okay, we're gonna walk in. So at the very end, I'll show you the doors. Let me show you a couple things, ways that I've organized. These are just anchor hocking jars from Walmart. Um, I've had people ask me if they work really well. For me, they've been great as long as I leave the lids on. Um, you do, I haven't had any issues with stuff being airtight, and they're super simple. Let me pull back so you can see really well. I do keep my cleaning bucket down there. I also keep a ring light because I run a blog, and that's what I do. Um, I'm going to show you as you walk back. Let's come back here. So for organizing, a couple things that I do that have helped me a ton is number one, to get things out of boxes. So if you have tons of boxes, these are OXO containers. Um, I think I got them several years ago on Amazon. You can also find them at TJ Maxx. They are super helpful. These are the mason jars. Um, they are so good for like like any kinds of nuts. I thought it was kind of crazy, but I had like 52 bags and we just write on top of them the date of when they're gonna expire. In fact, I probably need to go through, I actually do need to go through and see which are gonna expire. Several are expiring now, so it's time for me to clear those out. Then I have this handy shelf. This is just a stacked shelf. I got it on Amazon, we'll post a link to it. You can see how it kind of stacks up there. What's nice is they do have them that are adjustable, so I really do like that. A um, couple more containers like that. These bins, let me tell you something important. So when we were looking at potential stuff to organize our pantry with. When you're organizing your pantry, choose clear plastic. Even though I know you're gonna see lots of baskets like these, and we do use the baskets on the floor. I don't want you to get baskets that are pretty if you have a family personally. Having clear bins means you're gonna actually see what's in the food. We, for a season, had a bunch of baskets that were like this right here. And the problem with baskets like this is that you're not gonna be able to see what's in them and your family's not gonna eat through them. So whenever we were looking for new bins, and you can see I'm just gonna organize these, um, I always choose baskets that are clear. These were on clearance at Target, and so I just grabbed a bunch of those, and we kind of, everything is clear. So I keep things in bins, and you can see those are kind of my bins. Um, up at the top on the left is cookie, <laughs> cookie stuff. Anything that I don't use very often is at the very top. Um, then I have baking stuff, then cereal, peanut butter, a couple extra things, but everything kind of has a place. Okay, now I'm going to try to give you guys a big... Let me walk out, hang on, I'm gonna give you all the full effect now. Are y'all ready for the full effect? So, when we walked into this house, and this is, y'all, I feel so spoiled, so let me just, let me explain to you that I feel super spoiled. We walked into the house, 
And I said to the realtor, I said, where's the pantry? What am I going to do? I don't have a pantry. And then he was like, oh, well, this house has to have a pantry. And so if you can look, it literally is right here. And then you just open it up and it's like, you don't even know it's a pantry. It's crazy, y'all. It's crazy town. It is crazy town. So then you come out from this and... For me, I was lugging, most of my crock pots were in the basement, and every time before I would do a video, I was running to the basement and getting all of my crock pots. So this one, I have everything right here at ease. I know I'm spoiled. I know not most folks have a pantry like this, y'all. This was 27 years of penny pinching and being really lucky. So in all honesty, I'm not going to say it is lucky um, that we found this house and that it worked out for us during the season. But for us to be able to have, I know, it is my dream. I feel like I should have a chair in here sometimes, y'all. It's a good pantry. So I know that I'm super fortunate in this. But I will say, even in this, it gets easy. Well, it's pretty big. <laughs> I don't have a whole lot of time struggle with keeping it organized. When you have a smaller space, it's way harder. So I really encourage you depackaging things. So if you notice, not a whole lot of our stuff is kept in boxes. I do have like some stuff up there that's in boxes. Um, I know Lisa. And what's funny, y'all, I have to tell you this. So the realtor, when he was showing me the house, I walked in and I was like, oh my gosh, there's room for all my crock pots. And I think he was kind of like, what person in 2023 needs all of their, 2022 needs all their crock pots. But having that available is great. One thing that I did this morning that I think is super important is there are some extra racks for this crock pot that I don't ever use. And so I stuck them way up there at the top because I don't use them. So there's no reason for me to keep them right here in my way. So I kind of move those out and about. What questions do y'all have? I just encourage you though, wherever you're at, y'all, you do not have to have pantry like this to be able to tidy up your pantry, okay? So I just wanna encourage you, like I still have my mess of stuff here. This is kind of like my shopping. What happens a lot is I tend to over order because I'm in a hurry to order groceries. So for freezer cooking, a lot of these are supplies that we use for freezer cookies or freezer cooking. Um, what is the stainless steel crock pot? It is the all clad. Um, I really do like it a lot. I have baskets on the bottom. So like this basket is for like, um, plastic containers. These are for grocery sacks. This is for water bottles. This is for extra, um, any kind of extra plastic stuff. This is for paper towels. Um, yeah. And then I also have this. Okay. So I showed y'all this guy up here. This is another one of those pantry stacking things. Um, it is really handy. And what's nice about this one is it expands to whatever size you have. So if you have a smaller pantry, you can make it as big or as little. Can y'all see how this expands right there? I'm not gonna pull it in and out. Um, yes, Lynn, we toast our bread in the pantry. Is that not the craziest thing? One of the things, because this house was almost done when we got here, I asked them to put in um, electric, uh, sockets so that we could just do our bread in the pantry. And I've seen people who have beautiful pantries like this who've actually done cabinets in here. I honestly don't know if I want cabinets because it's really nice to be able to just walk in and get everything I need. So um, anyways, what tips do y'all have on pantry organizing? Have you done it yet? As y'all know, the home planning challenge, let me go through really fast. Home planner is here. This is our challenge for this week was Organize the Pantry. Next, this Monday, we'll be starting a new challenge. And we'll be doing all of these things on our tasks. And we're going to deep clean the refrigerator. So I hope that helps. I know, Lynn, I'm so spoiled on this pantry. Let me show you all one more time because it is pretty cool. And I'm, like I said, after drop walking up and down the steps to get to my pantry, to be able to just walk into it is crazy. I encourage you, though, don't, y'all, this pantry did not happen until for a long time and i am very thankful for it don't feel like if your house doesn't have a big old pantry if you have if all you have are cupboards think of how you can use your cupboards depackage things that definitely helps like you can see my pasta think about this is probably six boxes of pasta by having it in a container and no boxes it takes a lot less space so oh linda you have an identical pantry i love that andrea don't be rich don't be jealous remember it took a long time you plan to fill your planner out the rest of this week i love that hey tammy in south carolina okay y'all do your planner challenges this week i'm so crazy thankful for you y'all have an amazing day and we will talk soon bye guys